Why am I even doing this game? <laughs> yeah, I already asked that last part, I won't go through that again. Hello there everybody, this is Siwat the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2006! I'm Naichi Bailey. Anyway, last time, we got introduced to the world of Soliana, and we got started on one of the worst games ever made. <laughs> I don't even know how long I'm gonna go with this, so now... By entering this mirror, which is strange since this is the real world and they're focusing on realism, we'll be able to go into our first level, which is Wave Ocean. And you know what, despite how bizarre these loading screens are, I actually do like the fact that they do explain what to do. At least that is pretty well explained to do. At least it's not like what I hear in Sonic Lost World Wii U, where it's like, they don't explain any- they barely explain anything at all, so... Yeah. I've got to hurry and save Elise. Anyway, we never met a level like this before, a beach level. Yeah, we totally never met that except Emerald Coast in Sonic Adventure 1. Yeah, and by the way, I am totally controlling the way Sonic- Sonic moves left and right when he's water skiing on the water. So anyway, uh, basically Sonic Sonic 06 basically follows the whole Sonic Adventure 1 formula, which is basically you run, you jump, you homing attack into enemies and such. But for all the stuff that's really wrong with this game, <laughs> you will give it credit that Sonic 06 does at least keep the basis, basics of Sonic there. You run, you jump, you collect rings to protect yourself. If you get hit, you lose rings, and if you get hit while you have no rings, you lose a life. Oh, and by the way, you gotta love the glitchiness of this game. Yay! I can even press this thing in any direction and I'll still go forward. Do I have those magnetic shoes or whatever? Or is it just me? It's probably just this game. <laughs> anyway, what I picked up right there is a silver medal. Silver medals, yeah, they're not like them. They're not like emblems in the old games. No, they're not. They're just there just for you to collect and such, and whatever. If you get all of them, you basically get an achievement for wasting your life. Thank you. Hm. Anyway, you gotta admit that Wave Ocean is, you know, pretty alright first level. There are pretty much multiple paths that you can take in order to reach your goal, which, which is probably what I like in the adventure games, in these 3D games, you know. It's not all linear as all hell, but, you know, all that jive and such, and wow, I actually did made it. Uh, you do need a future uh, upgrade in order to get this far, but apparently I didn't need it. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say other than, yeah, haha. But anyway, yeah, I can go on slopes, apparently. So anyway, yeah, what's really infamous about this game, I should probably go into now, are the glitches. Yep, you saw right there that I was clearly standing on the wall, because son because the, physic the physics in this game are just bad. <laughs> I will admit, the physics are bad, but, yeah, I don't know, to me, they're an enjoyable kind of bad, you know? It's really fun to make up, to, like, make, poke fun of the, uh, physics in this game. And I'm trying to get this ring box, but I'm failing. Yeah, look at that, I'm standing completely on the wall. I can homing attack onto that wall, and I'll still, like, win and such. So anyway, uh, there's actually a bit of dialogue right here. Uh, yeah, Sonic, there are hurting individually. So yeah, that's something that is kind of sort of new. Well, they kind of introduced this in Shadow the Hedgehog, which is when you get hit by certain things, uh, you won't lose all of your rings, but just some of them. So if you get hit by those tiny shots, you'll lose only one ring. So, yeah. Anyway, now let's jump over here and speed along through this thing. And you'll never guess what this thing is, trying to tribute. Yeah, you've never seen this before in a Sonic game. Sonic getting chased by whales. Yeah, looks an awful lot like Emerald Coast Palm Adventure 1, would you say? That's because it kind of is Adventure 1. <laughs> because this basically this level is Emerald Coast Point Zero Zero One. Tails, go ahead and push the gate switch so he doesn't get out. Okay, Sonic, I'll be right back. So now we're in control of Tails. By God, you're slow. <laughs> Yeah, Tails is really slow in this game. In fact, all the characters you're going to be playing as in this game are going to be downgraded specifically in speed. Yeah. The only time you're ever going to get any sort of speed with Tails is when he flies. 
But even then, you're just being propelled forward. Like, look at this. I'm pressing nothing, and Tails just goes forward. I don't really get why they designed that. Then again, should I really care? I'll just put it off as an excuse as, well... Yeah. I'll just put it off as an excuse as to, nah, they just didn't care when they developed this game. Anyway, Tails' weapon is not his Tails. Is It's his dummy ring bombs. So, yeah, he uses dummy ring bombs. And to those of you who are saying, Oh, hey, his, his, his weapon shouldn't be the dummy ring bombs. It should be his tails. Well, I'll put this in an argument. He used them in Sonic Heroes when you're, with, when you're alone, and Sonic and Knuckles were out of commission, so there you go. But then again, I would, I would have liked to see the tail attack come back and such. Not like it matters, though. You don't get to play as Tails at all, except in the new game Sonic Boom. Which is coming out later this year, and I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and break this box right here so you can push the switch so you can trap the gate right there, as Sonic was telling us. And apparently Sonic doesn't say anything. He's supposed to be like, Tails, you saved me! That was a horrible Jason Griffith, I apologize. But anyway, now we're going to get into the real meat of this of Sonic's gameplay. Darn, we're not going to make it. Let's speed up. Which is the mock speed sections. So basically, put Sonic will suddenly remember that he's Sonic and yeah, he'll suddenly go fast and you can only move left and right and jump. Well, from what I figured, uh this is sort of an interesting idea. It's just that the control was butched up from the beginning. But you know, I gotten used to the control, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, when you see a trail of rings, uh, you can use the light speed dash in order to straighten yourself. So, it doesn't really hurt in the long run, though, but at the same time, though, it just makes you wish you want to play going down from Speed Highway. And yeah, can't really tell enough, but I freaking love the music. <laughs> Ironically enough, even though Sonic 06 is considered one of the worst games of all time, this has one of my favorite video game tracks of all soundtracks of all time. Seriously. But yeah, this song Wave Ocean. Well, all of Wave Ocean's music actually is really good. And if you think the soundtrack gets any better, it does. It just does. I'm sorry, but it does. <laughs> and you'll hear me gushing over the music, without a doubt. Anyway, uh, about the ranks themselves, I don't really care about ranks at all, but it does help with getting money, and I will try to, and I will try and try to get as many A and S ranks as I can, and some Bs too, but eh, it won't be an intrusion. Anyway, what we got right there is a Soliana gold medal. They're basically like emblems from Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, except they only mean absolutely nothing and they're just bragging rights. Again, like I said, 100%ing... Sonic 06 in everything is just for bragging rights and nothing else. It looks like the princess was moved to another location. Let's head back to the city. So basically this level was entirely pointless then. Okay. I guess I can live with that. I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna keep track of that shit. <laughs> yeah, how am I gonna how am I ever gonna keep track of actually doing live commentary while these loading screens are going on? Anyway, where we're supposed to go is that way. Uh, I mean yeah, that way. Because of the camera. But I don't wanna do that quite yet. What I want to do is, I want to go over here to this lady. Hello lady, what's up? And I keep forgetting that, uh, uh, X is to talk to people. Anyway, uh, going into more of the, uh, of the people with the blue marks, uh, they're basically town missions. Town missions are basically there just to serve as getting more rings. And also to do more fun activities and such. Uh, probably the most you'll ever see of the town missions is from Sonic's perspective. Because, well, spoiler alert, uh, spoiler alert, uh, you are going to be playing as more characters other than just Sonic, obviously. 
or more main characters, not just Sonic. So, yeah, you're pretty much going to mostly see them from Sonic's perspective, but I will try to get as many rings as can, as I can, as can, as I can, because I want to show off pretty much every Sonic, I want to show off pretty much all the upgrades that Sonic gets. So, yeah. Anyway, this town mission, we had to destroy all the mechs and Eggman's robots and such. Not really the most interesting thing in the world, but... Eh, if you like that sort of thing, go on ahead and do this. It does give extra money, after all, so obviously you can't really complain about that. Oh, and also another thing, if you destroy the different colored uh, robots from the rest of those groups of robots right there, you can nab yourself a ton of money for that, or a ton of points for that. Because the score system is what really matters in order to get S ranks and such, and yeah, I don't really mind it all that much, to be perfectly honest. I mean, yeah, the rank system in Sonic has gotten better over time. Like in Sonic Generations, all you have to do is just get to get a certain amount of time. And in Sonic Unleashed, even in Sonic Unleashed on the Wii and PS2. Uh, you have to get it under a certain time, but, nah, I don't even care about this, uh, I don't even mind this, uh, ranking system at all, to be perfectly frank. That was because it's fun to destroy things, am I right? Am I right? No, I'm not right. I'm wrong. And then that person disappeared out of existence. How sad. Well, yeah, I should mention, uh, the only guy that's actually very interesting in this game, actually, the only NPC in this game that's interesting, actually, is this accordion dude. The accordion player. I'm this town's accordion player. Here's a song for Princess Elise. I hope she's okay. Beautiful Elise. Oh, beautiful Elise. Princess Elise, Princess Elise. Oh, Princess, beautiful Princess Elise. Beautiful, beautiful Princess Elise. All my love and all my dreams are only for you. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this guy actually does have, well, uh, an interesting song, actually. Let's listen in. Yeah, I like that. I like that version of uh, Elise's theme. Oops, spoiler alert! <laughs> ah, man. This is gonna be a load of fun. Bye, Tails! Anyway, let's see what these guys have to say. Hey, that kid's climbed up the way there. What's she doing? Well, she's trying to kill herself because obviously this game is just too horrible. Or not, she could be trapped in there and just realize, Oh my god, this game is so boring. Hey. What should I do? Lord Regis told me to come in here, but I can't climb up that roof. Dude, you guards, you guards, seriously. <laughs> Entry point is fast prohibited now. What? There's nothing going on. Nah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. And holy camera shift. Anyway, here's something that's really funny, actually. Tails. Tails. What are you doing? Tails. Dude. Tails can fit under there. He's perfectly capable of doing that. And look at that! Even when we're doing the slide attack, which we can do by press by moving and pressing X, we can do this just fine. But no, we apparently have to get an upgrade for it, so we gotta go all the way back to the item shop, dude, and just go with it. Oh, and by the way, also, we can spin dash in this game. Is it as useful as it was in the Avenger games? No. It's not. Bye, Tails. And hi, Tails. <laughs> yeah, he always does that. Anyway, let's talk to the shopkeep again, and holy crap, you do look realist more realistic uh, blah, 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 than I remember. <laughs> yeah, apparently Sonic 06 decided to go for that whole realistic style. You know, like, what if Sonic was in the real world and such? And so that's why we have all these realistic-looking humans, realistic-looking animals, and non-realistic Sonic characters. But, you know what? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean... I mean, yeah, we had, we had like, you know, realistic humans looking, realistic looking humans before, like, the adventure games and such. And, yeah, we all had realistic humans before, but this is no news to me, but, you know what, as for the graphics themselves, yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty decent enough for me. 
So anyway, by getting that anti-gravity item, by Tails, by holding X while moving, you can do a slide attack. That will help us squeeze through gaps and damage enemies even more. And this little girl is crying because, Oh my god, this game was just too horrible from the start. Yeah. Yeah, keep on crying, you pussy. So yay, all the people are happy and whatever and blah blah blah. I'm sorry, Sniff. Yeah, she said Sniff. But, yeah. But the way she sounded... Not the way the mother sounded. Wait, wait, wait. What's with the... What's with the mom? Tails? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Whatever. These gays are happy. Pfft. Shut up. Shut up, that was a slip. Lord Regis! You saved us! I'll be having the time you let me have a thanks. You want to go to the desert? Just let the surgeon know that you're out. They saw like my head in that way, so pretty free on our Yeah. Lord Regis is the standard old man. The old English gentleman of such. Hey. Oh, you have a badge from Lord Regis, it'll probably go right in. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I'll probably just do funny voices for all the people who are important. But anyway, next level time! You're a good girl, Elise. Remember, be brave. Don't cry, no matter what happens. Hello. Mr. Sonic. Just call me Sonic. Now then, are you okay? I'm so glad that you came. Ha! I always keep my word. Sonic! It looks like a pesky rat has stuck its nose where it doesn't belong. Well, a hedgehog to be more precise. The princess is mine. Until I unlock the secret of the flames of disaster. Tails! Got it! Let's go! I'll take care of you now. An early breakfast for my pet. This is your pet, huh? Okay, Eggman, I'll play with him. Alright, folks. We actually have our first boss, not our second level. This is the Egg Cerberus. All you have to do is just to homie attack his tail so you can grind on it. And you want to get to its head. If it can allow me to do that, so... You know. Stuff. Now you're going to be in control of the Egg Cerberus once you get onto his head and get to his horn. Um, a way to make this fight go by faster is by actually slamming his head onto the statues right there. Because for whatever reason, statues are pretty much the weak points, I guess? I don't know, the things that make him really weak or something. I have no idea. How can the Egg Cerberus ha be the Egg Cerberus without its two heads? I don't care, but it looks really cool. <laughs> That's like the one thing I'll say about Eggman's robots, actually. They do look really cool. I'll give it that. I don't care if they're supposed to be all cartoony and hey, that was cheating! That can't the game can't do that! It can't do that! Whatever, are you gonna let me do the thing now, game? Because Ow. Yeah, now's the point where I started having trouble. It's only the second part. Oh boy. And by the way, you can cancel your cancel your sliding ability by pressing X. And I actually just found that out, actually. Holy crap, I never really knew that could happen. Anyway, come on down here. Come on, come on down here, man, so I can freaking kill you. Alright, you want to watch out for that shockwave attack as well. Not like the Pokemon attack shockwave, but whatever. Anyway, you can send yourself with the camera with uh, the left trigger button and such, and da, ah, I didn't get the statue, so there goes my S rank. Boo. Anyway, if I can actually make it fast enough, I can actually do another thing. If I can. Can I? Please? Yes! Alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can just basically make him run into any wall without having any sort of trouble at all. Hey, that rhymes. 
Alright, and we kill you! Sonic, I won't let you get away! Alright, folks, that was interesting. I probably got a B rank from that. Let me see. C! No problem. Ah! Dude! It's all because of that freaking wall! That freaking wall, dude! Man! The hell was that? Eh, whatever. Anyway, we do have time for our next level, so. I don't care if this video is gonna be running for too long, maybe. I wanna get to that next level, damn it. How long is this gonna go on? Let's split up. I'll get their attention, and you take the princess. Okay, you be careful, Tails. Lip syncing. Leave it to me. Man, that was slow down beyond belief, I tell ya. Dude. Oh, and by the way, the PlayStation 3 version's cutscenes don't have that sort of slowdown. Hold on tight. Okay. Yeah, see, right there, that was slow down. That doesn't happen in the PS3 version. Elise, hold on tight. Alright, folks, this is our second level, Dusty Desert. We're gonna be carrying Princess Elise throughout this level, so unfortunately we, we can't use any sort of our sliding, can we? Nah, oh yeah, we can use our sliding attack. Okay, I just realized. Uh, actually, I want to get this uh, silver medal first. I know they're pointless, but I don't care. <laughs> Anyway, uh, carrying Elise, we can still use our homing attack and such. We can still homing attack and such, we can still collect rings, but here's something that's actually pretty different. When you press the right trigger button, the power of shielding of unexplanation can occur. And you can go across this quicksand right here, right here, which isn't even animated at all. Yeah, even the 16-bit game of Sandopolis from Sonic and Knuckles that was more animated than this. And by the way, here's an alternate path that you can take. Yeah, if I can say anything about Dusty Desert, is that I do like the alternate paths that you can take. So much cool. And they said this game was the linear. No, sister. This is where it's at. When I want my level design in a, in, in, in a Sonic game. Not just go directly from point A to point B's. We want the stuff where we go from point A to point B's. Hmm. Anyway, you can also use... Here's something that's pretty weird. Uh, you can actually use the shield as a weapon. Like this. Yeah, I got hit while doing so, but I don't care. Anyway, this robot. Uh, it'll make you lose its arms, and that's when you want to attack it, and you can finish it off in a few hits. But, if you go over here, there's actually another alternate path that you can take. Which is right over here. You can go across this wall right here. I'm just taking the non-conventional path just because I like it. <laughs> yeah, again, I allow... Yeah, I allow all the, uh... All the alternate paths that you can take in this level. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if I did go all the way through there... I could've... I could've, uh... Gone the light speed dash thing over here so I can do over there, but... If you ignore the speed boosters, actually, because it will be a lot easier for you, you can take this rainbow ring, this trick loop, apparently, and you can find another sort of alternate path. This is basically more of a shortcut. So you can jump on this wall right here. If you jump, as soon as you land on a wall, you can jump off of it, yada yada yada, all that jive. And that was basically a shortcut. The bottom path was basically the long way upwards from all the way over there. You'll see a little bit later what I mean, though, but... Anyway. Now let's go over here, and now let's do another light speed dash so we can go over here. I know, I'm taking my time in a Sonic game, but... Yeah, these things need to be explained, because for those of you who hadn't, like, experienced this game before, I don't know why you would. You need just to experience how... How stuffed this game is. I don't know why I said stuff, but... Eh. I like Sonic's pose right there, by the way, when he when he's with Elise in these levels. It's just like it's just like 
look at my bitch bitches. <laughs> and, ah, uh, I didn't get an S rank, but oh well. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I was 2,000 points away because I didn't get any rings, I'm sorry. Uh, for those of you who are curious, there's actually a Soliana gold medal that you can get, uh, whenever you get an S rank in any sort of mission that requires you to do so. But anyway, I think that's enough for this episode, really. Notwithstanding the first episode, I've been recording for 45 minutes. Hmm. So, we are going to stop this episode here. Next time on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, or Sonic 06, we are going to see what happens next. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.